Hello, Pastor Faith here. This Sunday, we'll be having a guest preacher, the Reverend Dr. Timothy James, to help us celebrate the reconciliation ministry of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. Reverend Dr. James has chosen Matthew 20 for his preaching text this week. Let me read it to you. Laborers in the Vineyard. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went and he went out again at noon and about three o'clock he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around and he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last, and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now, when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last worked only one hour and you gave them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose? with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. Where do you sit in this story? Are you the vineyard owner paying out handsome salaries at the end of a long day? Or are you the laborer who has just been in, eaten the heat of the sun the whole day long. Perhaps you're the worker who just arrived, yet receives a full day's wages. I like to fancy myself, the vineyard owner, a person who is abundantly generous to the point of astonishment. At least that's who I aspire to be. Many times, I am the worker who has just arrived, profiting off of the toil of those who have come before me to no credit of my own, a recipient of unwarranted generosity. Then I count myself blessed and move along. But if I'm being truly honest, most often, I identify as the laborer who feels somehow jilted. Someone who has received exactly what they were promised, but somehow finds it lacking. Would you pray with me? Holy and most high God, help us to understand your unending grace your bountiful mercy that extends to the ends of this earth. Thank you for the times that we have benefited from your gracious nature to no credit of our own. Expand our hearts so that we may become like the vineyard owner and as generous as our creator. Shift our minds when we are the full day laborer, envious of others' good fortune. 
Help us to know that you care for each of your children and that when others have plenty, it does not detract from the many good gifts you have bestowed upon us. For your table is big and with many seats, and there is enough for all God's children. Amen.